everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub and welcome to our tutorial on the anatomy of the cranial nerve nuclei. So we're going to begin this tutorial with an introduction on what the cranial nerve nuclei actually are. And we're also going to be making use of a grouping of nuclei based on their function. We're also going to be looking at a brief overview of the anatomy of the brainstem, that is the midbrain, the pons and the medulla. And that overview will roughly present the cranial nerve contents in each segment of the brainstem. Once we're through this introduction, we're going to cover each cranial nerve nuclear cluster in detail, following an orderly fashion from cranial nerve 2 to cranial nerve 12. Then we'll generally present each nuclear cluster, starting with the nerve first, and then delving deeper to discuss its nuclei. We'll then present the nuclei of each nerve, grouped as sensory or motor, when that grouping is applicable. Once we're done presenting its cranial nerve nuclear cluster, we'll also talk about some important nuclei of the extrapyramidal system present in the brainstem. And finally, we'll try to make a clinical correlation to what we're going to be learning. And we're going to be doing that by discussing the pupillary reflex and a hypothetical clinical case where that reflex is absent. Okay, so we're currently looking at a sagittal section of the midbrain where we can see cranial nerve nuclei highlighted in various colors. The cranial nerve nuclei are collections of cell bodies which can be distinguished to have either a motor or sensory function based on whether they project their axons to the periphery or back to the nervous system. The nuclei are collections of cell bodies in close proximity to one another which allow signals to be relayed between distant locations. So in our image here we have motor nuclei in blue and these give rise to axons that later on bundle up to become motor nerves and to control specific muscles. And we have over here our sensory nuclei in pink. And they receive fibres conveying sensory information. Generally, we can identify three types of cranial nerves. And these are motor cranial nerves, which are our cranial nerves 3, 4, 6, 11 and 12. And we also have sensory cranial nerves, and these are our cranial nerve 2 and 8. And finally, we have mixed cranial nerves, which include cranial nerve 5, 7, 9 and 10. Now, you might be wondering how some cranial nerves can have both sensory and motor function when their nuclei can only have one or another. So the answer to that is that cranial nerves, which are both motor and sensory, will have a separate nucleus for each component. And in addition to that, you'll probably notice later on that some cranial nerves may share the same nucleus. And finally, do note that cranial nerve nuclei are also bilateral, so there'll be one of each on the right and the left. The cranial nerve motor nuclei are further grouped according to their target tissues, that is, where the axons of the attached cranial nerves are sent. So remember that motor nerves travel from the central nervous system to somewhere further away, and these can be referred to as efferent. Cranial nerve nuclei with motor functions can be grouped in the following way. General somatic efferents, GSE, which innervates skeletal muscles, special visceral efferents, which innervates the musculature of the pharyngeal arches, and general visceral efferents. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.